Hi, this is Lori at Violinist.com and today I wanted to show you some exercises that are meant to help you with flexibility in your bow hand. As a teacher and as someone who goes to a lot of master classes and observes students, I often see something like this in, in bow hands where it is very stiff, where the, like the pinky is not participating in the bow and this, this creates a lack of flexibility that's going to make it hard to do spiccato and other advanced bow strokes. Mm -hmm. Another problem I can see is just when the pinky is down here and, and these three fingers are trying to support the bow and it, it makes these fingers very, very uh, stiff and inflexible. So what you want in your bow hand is just this really good flexibility where you can do basically you can take a stick and do all kinds of things with your hand without dropping the stick that is basically what we are trying to cultivate so the first one and let me just say that none of these exercises are anything that I made up on my own my teachers uh, like Jim Maurer um, Gerardo Ribeiro um, Galami and protégés they taught me these, these exercises. So there's basically three of them that, that work very well for this. Um, the first one is to simply get your bow hand and you're gonna go like this. Squeeze your fingers up and down. Notice your pinky is on the tip, is on its tip. Let me show you this from a different angle. Now I am, my wrist is going, it goes straight and it does go down a little bit, but I'm not, as you'll see, I'm not moving my arm at all. I'm just, this is basically my fingers um, reacting to my wrist so that the bow is going more or less straight up and down while, while I'm doing this um, with my fingers from another angle. Okay. Um, one of the trickiest things about um, really cultivating flexibility in your bow hand, at least for, this is basically a Franco-Belgian bow hold, um, is that the pinky's role is to take the weight of the bow. So if you hold the bow uh, horizontally like this, um, the pinky will feel the whole entire weight of the stick. And your pinky has to get strong in order to do this. So this is another exercise you can do where you hold it horizontally. Now, if you look at my thumb, maybe a little hard to see, my thumb will sort of straighten and then get curved as I do this. Doesn't straighten all the way. I think a good guideline for the thumb is that it should never be locked in one position. You don't want it locked straight. You don't want it locked um, curved. But um, I venture to say that locked straight is, is worse. Okay, here's another one. Actually, I'm going to show you four. Um, this also tests the strength and builds the strength of your pinky. So keeping your thumb, I'm just gonna come around so you can see my thumb, your thumb as a fulcrum, see I, I just fell off, you're, um, you're basically gonna go up and down. And for this, you can see I do have a um, curved thumb. So it's going up and down like this, okay? And then the last one, is again, keeping your thumb as a fulcrum, you're gonna go on, on this plane where you're gonna go back and, and forth like this. And all the time you're just, you're exercising your fingers and you're, you're building your ability to, to hold a stick without dropping it. That's what it really boils down to. Now, I think, I, I really think that what helped me the most in building flexibility in my left hand. And I'm, I'm, I mean, not, not my left hand, my right hand, my bow hand. I am left-handed. So I really had to work on this um, when I was a student. Is this, this, this is your best friend for this, this or a pen or something. But you can do all of these exercises and, and much more easily, obviously. There's not as much weight, but you can do all these exercises um, holding a pencil. You can do this during class when you're bored. You can, uh, do this while you're watching television or watching videos, um, even maybe while you're looking through Facebook. I don't know. But um, 
all of these, obviously the ones where they're horizontal, they're much easier to do uh, without the weight of the stick, but it, it helps you cultivate this idea of like not letting the pinky fall off. You see, it, it's hard. It's hard to keep the pinky on the bow. And the main thing is you have to be able to recover it when the pinky falls off the bow and that kind of thing too. Um, doing this, I feel like doing this with a pencil really, really helps. Um, so you can even take a pencil in the car or something like that, but it's just something you can, you can get to the point where you're just kind of absentmindedly just kind of doing this just so that you're getting the feel of like a bow hand, um, you know, just holding, holding a stick this way. And, and, um, then something to know is that this, this won't literally translate to your bow hand. Um, you're rarely going to do a stroke that is just literally this. Maybe collé, you know, this uh, little stroke that we do like that. But that's not something we use all the time. The main thing that this helps with is actually not active, but passive use of your fingers so that when when you want to move around your arm, your fingers can go with the motion and keep keep the bow um, keep the bow steady as sort of as shock absorbers. Um, so anyway, that's mainly what I wanted to talk to you about today were those four exercises. I hope they're helpful to you. And thanks for reading violinist.com. Have a good day.